Germany will be the main country defending Europe from Russian invasion. In the conditions of the war that Russia is waging against Ukraine, Germany is beginning to understand that it must be a support for deterring aggression in Europe. And the Bundeswehr is rethinking its role. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius and Bundeswehr Inspector General Carsten Breyer wrote about this in an article for the Tagesspiegel newspaper. War has returned to Europe. Germany and its allies are once again forced to confront a military threat. The international order is under attack in Europe and around the world. We are going through a turning point, the publication says. It is noted that this fundamentally changes the role of Germany and the Bundeswehr. Today, Germany bears responsibility as the most populous and economically strong country in Europe. Therefore, the article emphasizes it should be a pillar of deterrence and collective defense in Europe. Our population, as well as our partners, expect us to take on this responsibility, the authors write. For this, they note leadership, defense capability and a realistic view of geopolitical challenges are needed. The Bundeswehr is ready for war, its leaders assure. In particular, an important signal of strength and deterrence is that starting next year, for the first time in history, a combat brigade numbering 5,000 soldiers will be stationed in Lithuania on a permanent basis. As emphasized, the war in Europe, as well as the Hamas attack on Israel, confirm the need for a quick and effective contribution to the international settlement of crisis. It follows on from all this that the Bundeswehr must be combat ready. Only then can it be a reliable deterrent. This means sufficient personnel, better equipment and structures that meet the new challenges Pistorius and Breyer point out. They also emphasize the need to attract new partners to cooperation based on a realistic, pragmatic approach, but always with a clear compass of interests and values. This applies in particular to the countries of the Indo-Pacific region as well as Africa.